for my business, woo, I have a tour to the mangroves, to the mangroves, I have a tour to the turtles, I take people out to surf, I have a trip, fishing trip, now it's all stopped. New Zealand people has to do that. You know, they have to do that to the sun, to the village, and you know, and our family and our business, you know, because uh, this is not our problem. It's their problem, you know, it's their boat. Out from where the boat sunk, and the fish would be swimming from there go all the way up and down all the time. And they let our nose become fishing from this and all the way down. So we're only fishing this side. And you know what we're doing for a living? Is for, we have to catch some fish. There is no fish here, so we have to look more further to the east side. So we're not supposed to fish close to us, but now it costs us twice to go all the way far out there, you know, to fish for tuna. That's why, you know, we double the, the amount of petrol to go far, far out to get for, for you know, to get fish. That boat is going to be ruling our reef. It's now for me and from the whole side from this and the whole island too. Because we can stop the, the current. I think you're well aware we've been uh, prioritising, uh, monitoring the Manawanui. Uh, we've been uh, conducting monitoring of the sheen uh, produced by the Manawanui and more importantly, uh, or as importantly, we've also been monitoring the shoreline. Um, one of our biggest priorities uh, in recent days has been the removal of three containers that came uh, from the Manawanui, were embarked on the Manawanui. We're still refining and, and, and doing um, work on the actual uh, amount of diesel that, uh, that left the vessel.